All right, this is number one, I guess. Oh, I wish the uh, camera would pick up everything. That's okay. This is number one of however many podcasts <coughs> I do for the literature that I read. This is more so for me, more so than anybody else, really. First one is Neuromancer by William Gibson. Came out in. Actually, let's check when it came out. John. Neuromancer by. Uh, it was first published 1984, July 1st. Not bad. Um, yeah. So overall, I wrote some stuff down first. I'd probably give it a 4.1, give or take like point, like with a uh, margin of error of 0.1. Out of five, of course, not out of 10. <laughs> That'd be a little silly because it wasn't like a really good book but it wasn't like a really bad book either I guess it was somewhere right in the middle if I had to guess although I tend to rate now if it was somewhere in the middle I guess I'd have to rate it like a three or something but no it's it's definitely on the better side for sure um and I tend to rate things a little bit higher than they generally should be for everybody watching on YouTube I've got my cat in the background Thank you, Molly. Very cool. Um, so the premise of the book is it's like the movie The Matrix, except without the machines harvesting humans. But the part where it is like The Matrix is that you're able to like jack in, as they call it. You're you're, you're able to jack in to the um to the internet, I guess. And we follow this main character named Case, and he's a hacker. And he just goes around just stealing information and causing havoc for the most part. Or at least he did uh, before he got messed up. But then he, obviously, this is the future where they can do a whole bunch of really cool stuff. And he's able to do that again. So it's, for the most part, it's like a solved crime novel. Um, except we're on the doing the crime part, which is which is actually pretty cool. Um, it does a really good job at showing that there are like an infinite amount of things at play, I guess. Like Case, he didn't save the world or anything in this novel. Um, he doesn't even change the way that he lives. He doesn't like, he doesn't become the good guy afterwards. In fact, he, I'll try to keep this as minimal spo spoilers as possible, but he he really does revert back after the, like i feel like we just saw one segment of his life um with this and it's just like one story it's nothing like super crazy and i i can actually appreciate it for that it's um it's a nice simple life despite them doing some pretty crazy things at times i don't know it's like um i don't know what are those heist movies like ocean 11 i think they're called I don't watch a lot of movies so but i'm pretty sure i got that one right um there were pretty good topics gibson gibson did a really good job of like talking about drugs corporate overlords which is very prevalent to our time thank you bezos uh crime and technology you know is technology really that great because we see that there was a war fought and it messed up a lot of people and this is obviously this is a very dystopian world i i wouldn't say anything other than that um many many people are living in the slums and just trying to make their way through it any way they can really um drugs are a pretty prevalent part of the novel they they're interesting in the way that they're able to target like certain parts of your body and many people including case uh, are reliant on them more so than like oh yeah you know like I'm like a big tough guy who like smoke cigarettes no it's like they really they really need to get off um, on that so and then technology there's this there's this matrix there's this this internet everything in it and people can jack into it and they can they can mess around in it and 
and like try and hack like corporations or government sites and stuff and the way that gibson describes it all is actually really cool it's really interesting um there's this ice it's called ice you can imagine it like a firewall i guess like just stuff to just like this firewall to keep other stuff out um but the way he describes the like the interactions within like the internet um is actually really really cool sorry what water break Um, there's also this AI character, two AI characters, technically. Um, but they are themselves, like, their own characters in a way. They want their own wants and stuff. They're not, like, purely robots, I guess. Like, t to me, it felt like, it felt like one of the AIs was pretty dang realistic in the sense that, like, it could be a human, I guess. Um, what is it? It, I wrote down, it really was just a story. Yeah, 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 okay, so. So yeah, like, AI was there, but they didn't really talk about it all that much. The AI sort of just wanted its own thing. And I won't say whether it got it or not, but this really was just like a story in this world with this certain cast of characters. It was pretty cool. Uh, one of the, um, so a, a few things that like I didn't exactly like could go without many breast details. There were like lots of just breast details, which I mean like I don't know Gibson. Hold on, I'm sure I have a picture of him in the back. Um, yeah, he looks like he'd write about breasts probably. And then there's also this. <laughs> makes me laugh every time. This very stereotypical uh, Jamaican man who's called a Zionite, uh, Malcolm. It's it's so funny, he's got like, he's got purple dreadlocks and he speaks in the Jamaican accent like within the dialogue. And of course he smokes weed and it's just, it's every time he's like one of my favorite characters, but oh God, it's so funny. Um, and then this isn't a dislike, but it was something that was interesting that, that there wasn't really any bad guy in this novel either there wasn't no like singular you know evil because like i said this story is just um it's just it's just like one story with this particular set of characters in this world i don't and you know i wrote down like maybe like oh maybe bad guy is society dot 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 ha 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 very funny which is true i guess in a certain part Okay, sorry about that. First, first video, first podcast. Um, technical difficulties, as is, you know, common. <laughs> uh, but I can splice stuff together. I, I know how to do that. Hopefully. <clears throat> but yeah, I don't. I don't know. That it was definitely like, pretty good critique on like how. Lots of people just really go about their day without, really making that much of an impact, I guess. Um, especially when we're looking at like all these corporations and stuff that have like billions of trillions of dollars and how they're allowed to do pretty much whatever they want. And even at the end of the novel, they're still allowed to do whatever they want. This isn't like nothing really changes and that really sucks because that's pretty much us now. Nothing really changes no matter how much we want to try and stop it. Will something ever change? <sighs> I don't know maybe hopefully hopefully in my lifetime um okay so one more point is that even though the matrix was really was really well described a lot of the technological speak i guess a lot of like the hacker talk uh definitely went straight over my head which i don't think you need to know in order to really get this novel um it's just you know it's just there to add like another depth another layer of depth and detail for the most part um oh and then also the environment every place that they moved to um whether that be the sprawl or somewhere in europe i can't i hell i finished this one yesterday or space or space it always felt alive 
it always felt alive and it always felt like there was really good um just like movement going about with all the characters you always knew where everybody was and nothing ever felt dead unless you wanted you um to make it feel like it was dead so yeah nice job gibson nice job and we hit our 10 minute mark which i wanted to do uh yeah so thank you everybody for watching hopefully i should have one of these out every week if i don't if i'm not super lazy about it and i actually read because the goal is to read 52 books this year if not more um but i don't know we'll see where it takes us and thank you so much for watching or listening i'll see you next time